Hi, where are you from? In suburban Chicago. What's your name? Be ever impressive. But never duplicate. 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 Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C. here. Welcome to The Art of Noise. Welcome back to The Art of Noise if you are a returning uh, subscriber. Now, this is a, another project that I'm working on since I finished the Epiphone Le, uh, Les Paul Spider 2. I want to get this thing done for my niece. And what this is is another plaque. Not It's not going to be a pen holder. But there's going to be a couple of like precious moments on here. She just had a couple kids, uh, one boy about a year ago, and now she just has a little girl a couple of weeks ago, I think it's been. And now I can make this plaque and finish it for her, you know, just in case something happened with the baby and you know there was problems or issues or something, and baby didn't make it. I didn't want to make this, you know, ahead of time, and uh, you know, cause hard feelings or anything. So. I can't remember what this wood is. I picked them up on, on off of eBay, and when I started doing the plaques for the pen holders, this thing, all right, you can see the red, which is kind of a pinkish now, and that's what I wanted. But there's also blue in here, and the blue darkened up when I put the uh, uh, seal coat of epoxy resin on it. Now, just look at the figuring in this wood of what it did now you're going to see some flaws and some dry spots which there's one right there uh, that's because let me put some light on here so if that helps a little bit there you go uh, this is just a seal coat this is just the first coat that I put on here to kind of help it along to seal the color in and uh, seal the color in and to prevent any other bubbles that may pop up when I put the, or before I put the uh, finishing coat on here. This way if I do any sanding and buffing I won't have any bubbles in the finish and this seal coat I'm going to end up sanding it down smooth anyways and the bubbles are hidden when you do another pour of the epoxy. So. I use red, obviously, as you can see, and I also use blue here, and it's only dark because of the color that the tongue compressor or whatever you want to call it's been sitting in there. And here's the red, but there is some blue. You can see a little bit of blue over here. There's some blue over here. There is a little bit of blue, but not much. It was blue and red. I sanded it back with some steel wool on my little palm sander right here and uh, faded it out pretty good got the colors to kind of blend into each other a little bit so it didn't have any sharp lines going from one color into another color and after putting the seal coat of epoxy on it this is the outcome of it this fucking thing is beautiful I've never seen wood like this before that reacted with the epoxy resins in a, a certain way where the uh, figuring would pop out. And I was talking with my father and I said, you know what would look really nice? If I could find this stuff in like half inch thick sheets and make cabinets in the kitchen or the cabinet doors with this stuff do a veneer facing, refacing the cabinets themselves and putting new doors on them and doing something like this to it. But this is just unreal how this turned out. Alright guys, this is my story. I'm sticking to it and you guys take it easy. Have a good one.